Welcome back. As often happens, as you know, Audrina, a CBS2 viewer will reach out to us. This one in particular wrote saying these kids need to be recognized. And you know what? We couldn't agree more. I know. We said, yeah, they sh definitely should. Mm -hmm. These four Barrington High School students are the champions of the 2023 National Academic Quiz Tournament, the national one, not just the state, bringing home the huge trophy from Atlanta. There they are. And this is the second time in three years Barrington has won the national honor. Yeah, it was something in the water out there in Barrington. <laughs> Joining us now, live via Zoom. Seniors Michael and Colin and juniors Charles and Rohan, thanks for being with us, along with your Scholastic Bowl coach Jeff Price. Good morning and congratulations. Good morning, thank you. Good morning, congrats. Yeah, <laughs> what, what a huge honor this is. So I have to start off by saying, how tough was the competition against teams from all across the country? Uh, it was probably the best we've had to face this year, especially local. In the final, we weren't. Um, playing some team from New York. We were playing Buffalo Grove about 15 minutes away. Yeah, well, um, which is crazy. You go all the way to a national competition and you face off against the team for the title right down the road. Yeah, it was really funny. And so this quiz bowl, you have to go head to head. I mean, that's tough. Answering questions in all areas of knowledge. You don't know what's coming at you. How do you guys prepare for this? Let's talk to coach and then let's talk to um, you guys as well. Well, the guys have put in a lot of work independently of our practices. Obviously, uh, we practice at school on a weekly basis. And then we have our conference competition, which incidentally, Buffalo Grove is part of our conference. And Michael even noted prior to the championship game that you couldn't believe we had flown all the way to Atlanta just to replay the uh, conference title game. But uh, nevertheless, uh, it's a very strong conference and that that prepares us uh, quite well when we have to play Buffalo Grove and Friend, uh, for instance. Uh, those are uh, teams that uh, show quite well at the national level as well. So uh, they put in a lot of time, though, away from practice, uh, quizzing each other uh, during school hours, uh, during their breaks even. So we just saw something similar with the National Spelling Bee. Talk to us about just the amount of pressure you're feeling when you're on the spot to get the question right. And, and what's next for you? You're going to win all the trivia contests in, in, in the neighborhood, go on to be on Jeopardy. What, you know, what's next for you guys? <laughs> uh, it's funny you mentioned that, actually, because we have this we have this saying um, that we started using a lot more uh, during during nationals during this tournament. Uh, it's play the packet uh, rather than focusing on what team you're playing or um, the way that the moderator's reading, you know, the specialties of the team you're playing. Um, I think we have been making a conscious effort to just kind of focus on the question itself, nothing else. And, you know, it comes down to just buzzing when you know the answer. And, you know, you can't try to see past that. And, you know, we, we, we did that and obviously it was successful. <laughs> so what was like the best moment? What do you guys what really stands out to you about the ball? Probably the final game. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, we sure. ended up racking up an amount of points that none of we us did. could have yeah. um, predicted. Yeah. We, we really just coasted. Yeah, I think the games before that were kind of stressful. They were very close, but the mm -hmm. final. We... So we we were expecting a very close, tense game, which is normally what we get with Buffalo Grove. Yes. but we played the game of our lives. We did. Oh, I love that. You said I coasted. They yeah. coasted through that one. Yeah. All right. Two national titles in three years. Uh, I guess you can go for sort of a three-peat, go for it next year. We won't count that little year in between. Is that the goal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they had uh, yeah they they had a a great tournament as uh, as Colin said. They uh, they truly did uh, uh, focus on having fun. And I don't know if you noticed in the pictures, uh, we actually even. Uh, acquired some Atlanta Braves jerseys. We wore Braves jerseys just in the name of having fun because we we're in Atlanta. And uh, and hopefully we have that kind of fun next year too. All right, well, congratulations mm -hmm. again. Thanks so much for coming on the show to share in the victory party with us. Yeah. We appreciate it. Yeah, super, super smart. Hopefully they'll rub off on us.